Hello people, welcome to my channel. I believe everyone is doing very well. Yes, today I have an amazing broccoli recipe to share with you. I have um, roasted broccoli um, with lemon and garlic dressing. So let's put everything together. First, you cut your lemon into two. You can lemon like a whole few big ones. Or you can use just a smile, you know, like my one big one and then a smaller one. That's not problem. So you cut them into two and then you spread some olive oil. So the olive oil should be, I didn't measure this, but when you're measuring, it should be around two tablespoon full, two tablespoon or three tablespoon approximately. So you're going to place them, the face down in a baking bowl, right? You season it with um, some salt. Perfect. And then this is going to go in the oven. We are going to bake this so it turns to a golden color and all the juice caramelize together. Now it goes in the oven. So the oven you can preheat it 250 degrees. So it goes in the oven. So now you get a whole garlic, a whole garlic, chop the head off, make sure the main garlic is also whole, yes, this is how we want it, chop the head off like that, you get one whole red onion, with this you are not going to use oil, you can use oil depending on how many people you serve in this dish too. But I'm going to cut this into two. I'm going to just use half of it. So I'm going to cut it into two. Yes. And then you leave it this way. This is how you want it. So when everything is done, you sprinkle some amount of olive oil in a fall sheet or aluminium foil sheet. And then you make sure it's spread around you can, because you're going to bake to So the onions goes in that way. And then the garlic as well. And then you give it a good pour. And then put it on a tray just to go in the oven this goes yes yeah, so you put your tray in the oven this is going to go in the oven for about 15 minutes to get it roasted now we're going to get the broccoli ready for the oven the onion and garlic has been in for about 20 minutes so just one whole spoon of olive oil, tablespoon, and then we'll chop some rosemary. Shadows play the trick on my eyes, creatures in yeah. my bedroom at night. Then you season it with some salt and pepper. Pepper. Yes. Just that's enough. Then you give it a good toss. Give it a so Olive oil. This should be to the other ones as well. Good. So we get them. Oh, it smells amazing in here. We get our 
garlic come on in so, from the oven. So we put our broccoli on the hot pan. Always make sure that the cut sides are down on the hot pan. Yeah? This goes back in the oven for 20 minutes. Now, I have taken the onion and garlic out of the oven because it has been there for about 30 minutes. Yes, it's soft. This is how we want it. So what you're going to do is just peel it off. It's kind of really hot. So you can leave it for some few seconds and then you come back to it. It's really hot so I'm going to use the tissue. Try and get the garlic out of the shell. Because it's extremely soft, it can easily come when you just excuse it. Just give it a little push out. Oh dear. Yes. It's kind of really hot. Forgive me. I'll get every bit of it out. Yeah, it's out. That one is out. I've got my other ones in here. It's out. Yes. So everything is out. And then you peel off. You will peel off the onion. Look how juicy it smells good. Yes, that came off really easily. And you can see this vapor coming out. It's extremely soft. So what are we going to do? I've just um, taken out my lemons. It looks so cool and it smells amazing. This is exactly how you should expect it to be after it has been in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes. So you give your onion and garlic a mash, a proper mash. So this is how it looks after you've given it a good mash. It looks amazing. This is the consistency that I was looking for. So what we're going to do next, I'm going to use the tissue because my lemons are still very hot. Not extremely, but... So this is how it should turn up. Golden color. So this goes in, you squeeze everything out. Goes in to your ginger in, yeah, sorry, your garlic in, red onion mash. Take everything, get a spoon, as I'm doing, and scrape, sorry, scrape everything out. Yes, it's the kitchen, so definitely you're gonna have some disaster, so forgive. Take another one out, bring it out. Oh, this smells heavily. Make sure you get the seeds out and then spread everything out. Spread everything out. It smells amazing. Good. So, so I'm going to use two for now. So I'm going to use, now I think this one has cooled down a little bit more. So I'm going to take everything out. It looks amazing. Smells wonderful. Bring everything out. We need all. Scrape it out in your mess. The last one. Get the seeds out, please. So you put the juice in the mix as well. Remember that was olive oil seasoned a little bit with um, 
salt, some salt. So this is how it should be looking. It looks amazing. So we are going to test, and then we put the next ingredient in. So people, this is the consistency that you're looking for. This looks amazing. So because of the citrus, the sharp citrus taste in it, we are going to put one teaspoon of lemon. Uh, sorry, of um, honey. Sorry, one teaspoon of honey in the mix just to balance the citrus taste. So you season it a little bit with some salt. And some pepper. Perfect. So this is how it turns out. The garlic, onion, and lemon. Broccoli dressing. So the red onions has given it this pinkish or reddish color. So it depends on the onions you use, but I prefer red onions. It gives it an amazing smell. It, it smells amazing and it tastes wonderful. But you can use the white one as well. So this is it. Our broccoli is ready. So we are going to put everything together. Right, people? So this is our big broccoli. This is exactly how I want it to look. It looks amazing. It's cooked through. So what you do is just a spoonful or two of your dressing on it and then you give it a toss like you mix it together oh. it should be in here it smells heavenly it smells amazingly well so this dressing you can also use it on salads you can use it on other veg cooked vegetables so this we are going to um, put in the jar and put in the fridge. This you can keep for as long as you want, up to a month. Amazing. So this is how it turned up. So people, before we sign out um, um, totally, we I uh, have jarred the sauce or the dressing. So that is, you can use this dressing for salads as well, any type of salad at all. And you can use it with um, broccoli or um, carrots and cabbages, any vegetable at all. So this is it. Thank you so much and stay tuned for more amazing recipes.